Okay, so I have my brother, Peter, who is also a graduate at the PSYCOR High School. And uh, welcome, Pete. Thanks for taking the time out of your very busy schedule. He's hitting the ground running, already taking courses. So we'll try to make this as concise as we can. So Peter, what program are you entering in college and what college are you attending? Uh, well, thank you for having me. I am attending um, Wor Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Um, it's a college that primarily focuses on um, engineering. So there are many different research, um, um, engineering and science-based uh, curriculum. Um, I'm majoring in mechanical engineering. Um, I also hope that I might be able to also major in chemical engineering, but that's just a pot. That's only a possibility. Um, but I'm definitely, I, I haven't started my um, freshman class yet, um, but I will be majoring in mechanical engineering. Excellent. Excellent. So now that you're in the thick of it, how do you see that PsyCorps has prepared you for college? Well, if I, if I'm to make an evaluation that I think my, best metric would be um, off of the summer courses I'm taking before my first year. So at Worcester, um, they're unique in that they offer a summer E-term um, during the school year, well, like as a as an incoming student and as an already attending student. So I've um, enrolled in Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and um, a chemistry-based equilibrium thermodynamics and um, um, kinetics course. So in terms of content, I would say PSYCOR definitely helped me to be prepared um, in, in math and science. So when it came to um, math, I've already I've take I took calculus two as a senior and when, while I'm taking Calculus 1 and Calculus 2 courses, I already have the um, foundation to be able to understand the general concepts. So nor normally the hardest part of Calculus 1 and Calculus 2 is that, or more so Calculus 1, is that you're um, taking a different approach to math that's completely new to you. So derivatives, integrals, and many different more complicated concepts that greatly differ from things like algebra, geometry, trigonometry, which are, can still be difficult, but are more high school or middle school based work. Uh, when it comes to um, the sciences, I've taken chemistry one and chemistry two. So that, that gave me um, a very stable foundation for um, things like thermodynamics. I've taken thermodynamics in physics class as well. So I have a very grounded approach to it. Um, although I haven't taken any uh, humanities classes yet, I think that when it comes to Psycho's curriculum, I had a very profound experience. Um, whether it was, you know, long ended essays or research papers, class projects, um, debate, um, so yeah, I think I'm very prepared for college now. Excellent. That's awesome. So you can see it right now with the comparison, uh, how it helped. And were there any classes at PSYCOR that particularly impacted you or inspired you to take on mechanical engineering? What was it? Ex what in PSYCOR has inspired you in terms of classes? I think there's two answers to that. One would be what academic course inspired me, and one would be what extracurricular course. Mm -hmm. When it comes to an academic course, I would say um, physics one, mm -hmm. because initially I had hopes to be involved in some kind of engineering design. I've always enjoyed building things. So when I saw that uh, physics was the most applicable of the sciences, in my opinion, like the most, you can apply it to many different things and many different designs, more so than chemistry or astronomy or any other science. I felt that was the best pursuit for my interests. When it comes to ex extracurricular activities, I was involved in PSYCOR's um, Scientific Research Institute that is mostly chemistry based and it deals with um, 
designing and developing an ethanol fuel cell. So, so I won't get into the details of how it works, but that was oh, cool. <laughs> that, that um, introduced me, although it's chemistry based, it introduced me to the process of the scientific method, to um, designing apparatuses, to critical thinking, to manufacturing, to all of the math involved with measurements and all of the design challenges. Um, yes, that, that was those two things made me interested in majoring in mechanical engineering. Well, that's great. So as you can see, the psych or classes, your, you and a few other students have all said particularly specific classes that have an experience that have really inspired you. So that's great. And um, in terms of the PSYCOR environment, what are the strengths? What would someone expect when they're entering PSYCOR in the high school? And can you just give us a layout of what the PSYCOR environment and experience is like? I would say that the biggest strength would be the class size because I, I've, I've never, I haven't really attended public school but from my experiences in those settings, whether it was a debate tournament, whether it was some kind of uh, science fair, uh, or whether it was an online class or some kind of standardized test setting, I noticed how there was far less attention given to large groups of students than in our setting. I, having a class size of about a dozen students helps you to um, learn more from the teacher. Now, generally in school, most kids are shy, like just by nature. Most most kids don't want to ask questions. So this um, in, in a setting like that, where there's even less people, uh, someone who is more willing to learn has a greater opportunity to learn right. something, right. even under those conditions. Um, I wouldn't, I, I don't, as I already said, the curriculum was exceptional. I, I learned a lot. I think it was pretty advanced for a high schooler learning calculus two and physics two and chemistry two chemistry two i did um chemistry two i learned um individually by tutoring through psychor um but the physics two and calculus two i achieved through the standard curriculum so if if most most kids can achieve that because the teachers are very well qualified um, most of my teachers i had were college professors as well and they were part-time um tas i think so for my for example example um mr zachary he he taught um history at college and and i think politics or and he was the he was the history slash civics teacher um miss garato she she had worked with standards testing companies and she was currently working as a professor in english and she taught english and same with Ms. Victorero, who did research on black holes and all sorts of crazy out there physics stuff. And he taught physics at uh, PSYCOR. And he, I think most of them had either PhDs or masters. So I was very impressed by that. And now that I'm uh, involved in college courses, I'm, I have teachers of the same caliber. It would be one thing if the teacher had say a bachelor's or maybe they had a teaching license and they didn't really have much experience teaching, but these teachers were actually, you know, willing to engage in conversation and teach me new concepts that frankly, if I had followed a standard curriculum, like say a common core curriculum or a more docile way of looking at, oh, just follow the textbook along and don't do any critical thinking, I would probably be at a different place. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for your time, Pete. That was an excellent overview of the levels of psych corps education in the high school. So we can be very advanced, as you've heard from Pete, and we can also, we also are great humanities and we have different levels within humanities and sciences. So this would be an example of a more advanced uh, approach and an advanced uh, path in work. So thanks a lot, Pete, and enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck on your studies, and thank you for uh, all of those specifics because you definitely remember a lot. Yep. All right. Thank you.
Thank Bye. you.